book bans back in the spotlight and making national headlines. Recently, a school district in Tennessee removed the Holocaust novel, Mouse. And closer to home in Flagler County, we've been following the ban of the memoir, All Boys Aren't Blue. One student in Flagler County is still very outraged, and West Shoes Claire Matt supports he's taking his activism against book bans national. I just want to inspire other students to fight these book bans. 17 year old Jack Petos was just an ordinary Flagler Palm Coast High School student last November when the book All Boys Aren't Blue was removed from Flagler County School Library shelves, banned after a school board member complained. The book focuses on the author's life growing up black and gay and warns of graphic content, but it spoke to Jack, who was gay, and he led a protest outside a school board meeting. The book still isn't back on the shelves, but Jack's gone national in his quest to fight censorship. I feel like it's giving attention to such a necessary issue that's ongoing within Flagler County, and it's highlighting students' battles, you know, with these attempts at censorship and how we're fighting it. Jack has been featured on MSNBC, in the New York Times. He recently sat for a future interview with Nightline. He says he has a lot of support from family and friends, but he says there are haters out there. During the school board protest, Jack says adults calling he and fellow students ugly names was shocking. He says his national notoriety hasn't stopped the slurs, though he's developed a thick skin. I'm not bothered by it. You know, I think it's just representative of their low intellect and, you know, what they're trying to do. They're trying to silence our voices. Jack says for him, this issue's become much bigger than a single book, though he remains focused on All Boys Aren't Blue, hoping that future students have reasonable access to it and other materials, despite challenging content. Claire Matz, West 2 News.